Today, we're going to launch into the engineering design process and learn all about engineering. Proudly presented by Engineering Outreach at the Faculty of Engineering and Applied Science at Ontario Tech University. So what is engineering? Engineering is problem solving. Engineers look at the world around them and identify problems that they can solve with new ideas. Engineers are different than scientists. While both try to make the world a better place, scientists conduct experiments to better understand the world. Engineers, on the other hand, create designs to solve the world's problems using skills like math, science, and technology. There are many different types of engineering. Different types of engineers solve different problems in the world. One type of engineering is aerospace engineering. This type of engineer deals with things that interact with the air, things such as airplanes and rocket ships. Biomedical engineering solves problems within our healthcare system. Biomedical engineers can work on a bunch of different things, including creating things like prosthetics or helping with the diagnosis of disease. Chemical engineers are concerned about the process. They use all of their knowledge to help find the most efficient way to create materials or transform energy, such as in the process of making paper. Civil engineers deal with the design, construction, and maintenance of structures and infrastructures. Things like bridges, buildings, and roads. The building you're sitting in right now probably had something to do with a civil engineer. Computer and software engineers deal with technology and help solve problems through the use of technology. They are responsible for coding and programming much of the things that we rely on in day-to-day -day life. Things such as our cell phones and computers. Electrical engineers deal with creating electrical systems. It can be things as small as a device you're watching this on to entire power stations of electricity. Mechanical engineers create power generating systems. These are mechanical systems that involve lots of different machines and moving parts that make our lives easier. This includes things such as robotics, cars, and elevators. Now that you know a little bit about different types of engineering, let's look at the engineering design process. This is the way that engineers get from their problem to a solution. Step one of the engineering design process is identifying the problem that you're trying to solve. Not only do we want to know the problem, but we want to know more information about it, like who's experiencing the problem, why they're experiencing this problem, and where and when is this problem occurring. Let's take a look at an example. Our engineering friend Maddie is stuck on one side of the river. It would take hours for her to walk around to the other side of the river. How is she going to get across? Step two of the engineering design process is brainstorming ideas. In this section, we want to think about as many ideas as possible and be open-minded to all solutions. In this stage, it's also very important to collaborate with our team members. Let's get back to our example. Maddie is now on the brainstorming stage, so she's thinking about all the possible ideas. One example may be a boat, or a bridge, or even a hot air balloon. There's no idea too crazy in the brainstorming stage. Step three is designing a solution. In this stage, you need to select one of your ideas or combine multiple from the brainstorming stage, but you need to be realistic. You need to think about materials you'll need, creating a design, and even the cost and safety of the design and the materials you're using. Maddie decides to go with the idea of the boat. During the design phase, she'll have to think about the kind of materials and tools that she'll need. She'll have to get a paper and pen to draw out her design and a ruler to check her measurements. She'll also have to begin to think about safety and how she's going to get these materials when she goes to build. Step four of the engineering design process is make a model. This is when you'll use your design and list of materials to make it in real life. Usually engineers will start out with a prototype, which is a smaller, two-scale version of the final design in order to save materials, money, and protect safety. Since Maddie needs a design right away, she went right to creating a full-size model of her boat. The fifth and final step of the engineering design process is to test and evaluate. 
The goal of this step is to see if the design solves the problem identified in step one. During this stage, engineers will reflect on what went well and what didn't so they can make changes going forward. Maddie needs to test out her design before she actually uses it. Instead of testing it on herself, which could be dangerous, Maddie decides to use a rock to see if the boat can actually hold some weight. It's okay if your design didn't work the first time. It's important to try again. Engineers go through this process many times until they get a prototype that works. And they go through it even more to get a prototype that's perfect. Keep trying and don't give up. Maddie went back through the engineering design process and noticed a problem in her design. She went back and fixed the model and now she has a boat that gets her across the river and solves her problem. Thank you for learning about engineering and engineering design with us today. For more information, you can visit our website at engineering.ontariotechu.ca slash outreach.